What's going on you beautiful stars? RTS Nelva here and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips for all the new players about to play their first games of Ranked Siege. However, there are definitely some tips in here that applies to everyone, no matter what experience you may have, so make sure you stay tuned. Tip number one, don't rush into playing Ranked. Look, I've been there myself, you know, grinding out casual games relentlessly, just so you can hit level 30 and jump into your first ever Ranked experience. So I understand how disheartening this part may be to hear, but honestly, I regret playing Ranked as soon as I hit level 30, and here's why. I didn't know how much of a different game Ranked Siege is compared to Casual until I hopped into my first one, and I realised how out of my depth I really was and how little I knew about the game, and it kind of put me down a bit, you know. I was grinding out Casual so much and was finishing top in most of my games. So to then come into Ranked, finish bottom of the leaderboard, game in, game out was an awful experience. So what should you do? Well, my next tip is something which at the time I didn't have the option there for me. Although I wish I did and to be honest I'm amazed that you guys aren't utilising this tool to the max. And that's to play unranked more. I mean, it's in the title. It's ranked rainbow without the ranking system. It's something which I would have abused if it was around when I first started as it gives you the time you need to develop as a player without having to worry about what rank you're going to be in or toxic teammates blaming the loss on you for not knowing certain callouts. So use Unranked as an opportunity to experiment and learn the basics like where each site and camera is located on each map, what walls can be reinforced and what floors can be destroyed. Also use it as a chance to play around with operators. It's bad enough when you're being hindered by a lack of map knowledge, so don't let yourself be hindered by only being able to play as one operator on attack or defence like I did when I first started. Now you may be sitting there and thinking, well I play best as Thermite, so why would I use anyone else? And you've kind of got a point, but what if you get into your first game, or any game for that fact in ranked, and four of you, sugar, I'm struggling today, four of your teammates think the exact same thing, that they're the best Thermite, and one of them beats you to the peak of him. What are you going to do? Well you're going to be forced into playing as an operator you have no idea how to play as, and being honest, that's going to really increase the chances of you losing that game. Which kind of leads me on to my next point quite nicely, and that's to play around your team. This is vital for when it comes to succeeding in ranked, and truthfully it's a tip that I've only recently taken on myself. Now, when I say play around your team, I simply mean to always try and pick your operator last. I know how easy it is to lock onto your favourite operator from the get-go, but what if I tell you they could be hindering your results? Do you know how many times I've gone to lock on as IQ and on tech because, you know, she's my favourite operator. I only need to realise that no one has gone as a hard breacher. Or even the times where I've decided to go as a hard breacher like Thermite because nobody else has. And then realise that no one has gone as operators who can get rid of anti-breach gadgets like Bandit, Traps, or Kate's Electroclaw. Pretty much making my role as a hard breacher void. It is so crucial that you pay attention to what your teammates have chosen and then decide who you will be playing as from there. Tip 4. Don't be toxic. Recently, I've come across some really, really toxic teammates, and unfortunately, if you are new to the game, then there is a high, high chance you will encounter these twats as well. They're the ones who die at the start of every round and then proceed to blame you for losing it, or the ones that don't make any call-outs at all, until you die, and then proceed to say, How didn't you see him? He was in the corner by the door. Blah, blah, blah. Please, I beg you, do not be like them. Being toxic in game chat doesn't help anyone. And if anything would just lead to a massive L as it makes that person feel like not playing. There is nothing wrong with criticising someone. But wait till the end of the round and say it in a constructive way. So instead of saying, you idiot, why would you hold that angle? Try and say, ah, oh, unlucky man. Maybe next time try and hold a different position. Good try though. And you will see a difference. If you're in a game with people who are being toxic and aren't stopping, just mute and report them. As much as you may think you could be missing out on key callouts by these players, I promise you that you will play better without them in your ear. My fifth and final tip is this. Don't focus on what rank you are. I know this sounds a bit backwards, but you will play so much better if you do this. The problem with focusing on your rank, or at least what i found, is that you lose focus on the way you are playing. I've spoken about it before on this channel, and it's one of the main reasons why I changed my style of video as I felt I was more than happy to get carried all the way to Platinum and Diamond because I just wanted to get to Champion as quick as possible. When in reality, I was finishing games 1 and 5 or 0 and 4 in some of those and just not contributing in any way. 
Now I'm focused on the way I play, I've improved so much. Yes, my rank may be lower, but as a player, I'm improving daily. So I would highly recommend you try this as well. Well, that's the end of the video. And I really hope that these tips will help you become a better player. I didn't want to go into too much detail about the mechanical side of the game, you know, such as uh, aim, gun skill, how you should peek angles, and best team setups, etc. Because I'm still learning the game myself. However, I really wanted to focus, I guess, on the very basics and the personality side of Siege, if you can call it that. In my opinion, we could be our own worst enemies, and that definitely applies to Siege and your development. So let me know down in the comments if these tips have helped you, and if you want to see more videos like this. The gameplay in the background is from one of our live streams the other day, so if you want to tune in and see me play games like Siege and Warzone, then head over to twitch.tv forward slash RTS underscore Nova. That's twitch.tv forward slash RTS underscore Nova. I'll leave a link in the description along with my social medias, which you should definitely follow me on if you aren't already. I also want to say thanks for all the support recently. I love making content as it is, but you beautiful stars make it a hundred times better. Well, I love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye!